guys, it's Kelly here from Kelly and Co. And today I'm going to go over some propagation box options. Now, all of these options are pretty affordable and they are what I use already, except for one of them, which I'm going to be using for the first time tomorrow. So that's going to be a really exciting video. Um, but I'm going to start with my favorite prop box that you guys have all seen before. It's my mini greenhouse from Bunnings and it is like eight or nine dollars, such good value. It comes with the lid like this and it's got the vents on top. So if it's getting a bit humid in there, you can just open them up or close them up again if you want to keep that moisture in. And then the tray, the tray actually comes with like a seed propagation tray inside it, but I just whip that out. And then I put, I really don't want to tip these all over, but I put my cuttings in that have rooted in water and then transplanted to soil. So they go in here to kind of grow a bit more in like the perfect condition. So it's warm and humid, just like all these plants like it. So I have about three or four of these. They're so good and the price is just amazing. My next one is one of these storage containers. Um, I always get the ones with the clear lids and this one has a handle, which is really handy. Um, I'll just whip it off. So you've got your clear lid and then you've just got your empty storage container. This is 13 litres. And these ones I prop normally unrooted cuttings and I'll do it in spag moss or a propagation blend mix and then I'll just bang the lid on and stick it on one of my shelves under a grow light and leave it alone. I, with these ones I literally don't take the lid off again for maybe three or four weeks. I like to keep the moisture and the heat in there and just let them do their thing because that's about how long it takes to get any roots anyway. And they're more than happy in one of these containers. If I can see the spag moss or anything drying out, then I will open it up and just give it a spray of water, but that's so I won't pour any water in or anything like that. And this I think was about seven dollars at Bunnings as well so there's heaps of different sizes I like this height does it say what height it is 18.5 centimeters high because it gives the cuttings a chance to grow especially if you're doing something like a monkey mask or an, um, anything that's taller really or a vining plant um, it just gives it a bit more room to grow you can get ones about half the size and you can get bigger ones but these just fit perfectly on my shelves my next greenhouse is from Kmart and I'm sure all of you guys would have seen it it's the large greenhouse egg from Kmart and it was $12 I think and this is my only glass propagation box I guess you can call it a box and I'll grab it. I'm actually going to plant my jewel orchid in it and just that that jewel orchid. So this is it here um, and I'm going to see how it goes. It's effectively a terranium um, but I like the dome shape of it. It's a perfect size for that jewel orchid so that will be perfect. Um, next I have two kind of propagation lids that can go on to like existing pots or bowls or anything like that. They're really good if you're rehabbing plants or if you've got just one plant that does not want to root, sorry cutting, that does not want to root, um, then these are great options. First I've got the Alho one, what size is this one? I think this is like the 16, this is the smaller one. <laughs> And it's got a twisty vent on the top, so you can open it up or we'll close it again. And these just pop over your pot, so if you need to rehab a plant or anything like that, it is absolutely perfect. Or you could get a bowl, saucer, that kind of thing, put your cuttings there and then pop this over top. This was quite expensive, it is Alho. I got it from Odorines and it was $12.99. They do do a bigger size as well. And then the last one, 
I got from Kmart as well. It is actually a microwave food cover. You know when you're heating up like a leftovers or something, can you chuck one of these over top? This was $2 and I was like, oh my god, it's perfect. It's got tiny little ear vents around the side and this, like for $2, that's amazing. You could pop this over like a wee salad bowl or a takeaway container, anything like that. And you have your cheap little prop box. It's not completely transparent, but it, it will work. So just pop that over top of your cuttings or whatever you're propping and chuck it in the sun and it'll be absolutely fine. Right, those are my kind of favorite propagation box options. Um, there's a good variety there and I think there's one that will work for pretty much all of you. If you can't get any of these and you're in a jam, remember you can always use a snap lock bag um, or one of those uh, plastic bags that you put your fruit and veggies in at the supermarket, twist tie the top and you've got an instant mini greenhouse. So thank you so much for watching. Um, it was awesome and I cannot wait to plant my jaw orchard in that new um, greenhouse. So I will see you next time. Bye!